Hey, so it's Terry West Tennessee K9. I'm out here today with Rambler. Uh, I had a question uh, on his video that I posted a couple days ago on how I get his turn so uh, so tight, inside and outside and turn. So I'm gonna do a little tutorial, show you how to do that using these cones. All right, so what I want to point out on this video is with the inside turns, what I'm doing is I'm setting Rambler up on these cones and using the cone for a pivot point. So when he touches that cone, he'll pivot his back end around. It's just kind of a safety almost. So he learns to pivot around that cone. Then we take the cone away still the same pivot for a pivot point so when he touches that cone he'll pivot his back end around it's just kind of a safety almost so he learns to pivot around that cone then we take the cone away okay for going the other way what I do is I let the leash go across my legs here and I just turn him see how it turns his head use my hips turn him here and I just turn him see how it turns his head use my hips turn him and so with you using your hips like that instead of trying to lead the dog if I try to lead him around this is what I get okay can you see that Boy. he's not sure what I expect from him but if I just take that leash and let it go around across my hips and I just turn the dog and I walk, he follows me, turn, so that's a quick tip on how to get your dog's turns quicker, um, this isn't a a uh, yeah, work your uh, sport dog turn. This isn't a you know focused heel. This is just getting your average dog. If you want to have a little fun, get your average dog um, used to healing and doing uh, sharp turns with you. Hope this helped.